you were brought up in, in Edmonton in the 30s, the only exciting thing that happened around Edmonton, I can assure you, was the bush pilots. They would come and go at Cooking Lake, and it was in the newspaper all the time, and so every, I think all of us kids, wanted to be bush pilots. <laughs> we uh, joined the Air Force, learned to fly, and had good training, I might add. I started out really with a moth, fox moth, an all wooden fabric airplane. Paid for that bit by bit by bit and built up more airplanes and more airplanes. But I found that the Air Transport Board of the Government of Canada wouldn't allow me to expand very far up in the north. I wanted to put in schedule services and so on, but I was shot down in every case, you might say. So uh, um, once I noticed there were some foreign airplanes here doing charters, and uh, I thought, hmm, maybe I could get into that. So the Air Transport Board permitted me to do that, which surprised me very much. When I went into the aviation business, the philosophy in Ottawa was that there would be one airline and that the banks, they all said, if you weren't a government, you couldn't afford an airline. But uh, we had a, a natural market. And by 1960s, a lot of the wives that had come from Europe with their husbands who were in the services wanted to go home and see their families. And so I really, we were flying war brides from Canada to the UK and Europe and uh, uh, the Scandinavian countries and that in, the, in the early 60s and so on. And so charters became very, very, uh, very popular. There's a report from a big survey company in England. And they surveyed all the airlines. We led the whole world in, in, in customer satisfaction. I worked seven days a week, round the clock. And it was, we had operations all over the world. But I knew one thing, that we had a family, we had two boys and two girls, and I had a wife that could look after the family and did. You gotta know that the household and the family is secure, and, and that's what you work for. That's your whole name of the game. Thank you.